Hello everyone, my name is Candice and welcome to Candy Creations. So I recently got a table dropped off by me by my good friend Jeremy and her dad. They didn't want the table anymore so it came by me and I had so many ideas of what I'm going to do with this table. So eventually I decided I want to make a potting bench outside because I do really love my gardening. Um, I was trying to figure out how I'm going to make this table work as a potting bench because the area in which I want to put it is like on the skirting of the house which is probably like about four to five feet in width um, but I needed it to fit on the concrete area or else I'll be standing in the drain. So um, then I decided I'm going to cut it down into half and I know this might sound a little bizarre but Yes, I'm going to cut a dining table down in half just so that it fits in the area that I want it. So yes, that's my plan and let's get crafting. <laughs> So this is the table that I started with. I really wanted to stay in the top of it so I went down with some rough sandpaper to get the um, original stain off and this took quite a while as you would see. For the legs, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to get all the stain off of the legs because of how it is shaped. So instead I went over with a rough sandpaper just to give it a bit of a scuff and I'm going to paint all the legs. Now I know this table is going to be too big for the area that I want to put it in. So I cut the table down to size and then I'm going to join those two slimmer pieces. And the other part of the table I'm going to leave for another project. I am no professional at joining tabletops, I've never did it before, so I just did whatever I knew possible to keep it sturdy. So I really went down on the glue and the screws just to keep this part together. And because there were only two legs on the table, I needed to add two more legs. So I had these, what is it, like a one by two size, one by three um, pieces of wood remain back from palettes that I used to take apart so I added that to the sides and I really went down again with the glue and the screws after putting in the two legs the two extra legs I realized that the center was sinking a bit and I needed to put a third leg right there so that's what you'll see me doing here I had this extra piece of wood that I'm just going to screw on to the center of the table anytime you're cutting plywood expect that the saw is going to rip up the edges of your ply because that's just how ply is so I went in with some wood filler and when that dry I sanded it down to the table now this was a bit of a bummer seeing that I'm actually staining the tabletop but I really didn't have much of a choice and I don't think it would look too bad. I really want to put a shelf under this table because I have a lot of pots that I would like to keep somewhere neatly and not thrown about the place. So I'm just using these stubs to put on the legs and this is where the 
shelf is going to rest on. To make this shelf, I have this thick piece of wood which I know is going to be too heavy for just a shelf. So I cut them down to these three strips and then I'm going to put some glue and join the three pieces of wood together. So to stain this tabletop, I'm using my Sean Williams paint in the color Java. And then I'm gonna add some black acrylic paint to this just to darken the brown a bit. And after brushing this on, I realized that I really didn't like the color. Like I think it came out too dark, darker than I thought that it would come out. And I really didn't like it, so I grabbed the sander and I started sanding, hoping that it would come back to its original color. And it did pretty good, like I think it took off like about 95% of what I put on. So I was happy with that, and then I went on to paint the legs this pastel green color, which I thought would be nice and relaxing for the eyes in a garden. So this is what the tabletop looked like after sanding it down and uh, I also have my shelf here as well which I decided to stain um, something similar to the color of the tabletop. So I went ahead and this time I did not add any black paint, I just used the brown java paint and I'm just gonna give that a coat onto the shelf and the tabletop as well. Now when the tabletop was dried, it was a lot lighter than the color that was on the shelf itself, even though I both gave them one coat. So I decided to go back in and give the tabletop another coat. And after this, it was looking really close to the color of the shelf. And then I went in with some polyurethane and I gave that about three coats on the tabletop because I know it's going to be out in the elements and I really wanted the plywood to be protected. Finally, here I'm just adding a stencil to that odd block of wood that I used to secure the table. But when I was peeling it off, um, some of the stenciling did come off, but I did go back in with a fine paintbrush and touch that up. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a very laborious video to make, at least. I didn't show you guys everything because it was a bit repetitive and very long. But you got the basic idea of the steps I went by to get the final product. I really, really love my potting bench. As you can see, I did give it a try out. And I'm so excited to do more things with it. And we're probably going to be using it for more than just a pot and bench. It would be a nice area to sit and have maybe some dessert or tea or something. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.